children, it's Christmas time, so I think it's high time we talk about the winteriest game that came out this year, God of War. It's almost one of the greatest games ever made. It's weird. I'd originally planned on reviewing this game a long time ago, but I had a lot else going on, and other quieter or grindy games called me away from Sony Santa Monica's near masterpiece. Now. Having reached the end, I can say that Sony Santa Monica has crafted a caring, beautiful game that treats its subjects with a great amount of subtlety. The same subtlety it uses for its accidental misogyny! Oh no. Although my opinion of previous God of War games has been less than favorable, I hate them, I did very much want to be in love with this new God of War. And I think I do love it. After all, it has a lot to love from a heartfelt story about overcoming toxic masculinity to some of the most satisfying third-person action character combat type thing in the entire medium. The way this game subverts and grows apart from its predecessor's obsession with violence and revenge is not only refreshing for a game in this series, but for any game in general. The problem is... The problem... Mr. Octopus, what are those? Haha, <laughs> good one, Mechapig. Okay. The problem is that God of War is a very misogynistic game. This time on accident, I hope. It might not seem like it at first. After all, the game did get more perfect tens than a swan dive at a place in which swan dives receive scores of ten. That was a bad sentence. But while my initial impressions of the game were mind-blowingly positive, I came to notice some disturbing trends within the story and overall world. It deserves to be pointed out that previous games in the Gao franchise were horrifically misogynistic. Like throwing women into grinders for a puzzle misogynistic. As were old myths, which the Gao games are loosely based upon. But this is not an old myth. This is a video game in the year of our lord 2018. How, how on this blue earth is there only one woman character and her backstory is uh, atrocious, muddled with tropes of new and old. I won't get into spoilers in this review, but come on, Sony Santa Monica. In this game, you wrote some of the most natural and engrossing dialogue ever. You can't write a single woman who is not dead or a witch. Seriously? Seriously. It's bananas. Uh, hey, Mecha Pig? Yes, Mr. Octopus? I think there's something on the camera. It looks like snow. But we're in a building. Yeah, but, oh, it's getting on the tea and crumpets. Why are there tea and crumpets in the studio? You don't know? I always leave out tea and crumpets around Christmas time for Archibald Crumpet. Archie who what now? That's not snow at all, is it? <gasps> it's Archibald Crumpet, the Christmas Weevil. Ho, 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 it's Archibald Crumpet. Don't you know it's Archibald Crumpet? Christmas time is here, so he is. Ayo, bravish me, Archibald Crumpet. Straight out my magical chimney in the North Pole. Oi, I see you remember me too, Crumpies. Go on, ya, Mr. Octopus. I remember you come presents time. Thanks, Archibald Crumpet. Also, are you a real thing? Oh, yes, right, I am, I am. You live at the chimney in the North Pole? Course, course, every British person lives in a chimney. That's not, that can't be right. Oh, have you ever seen a British person who didn't live in a chimney? The, the Queen? Oh, what's the Tower of London then? Uh, that's south. right. It's just a big old chimney that the Queen lives inside of. Quit flapping that beacon, I'll tell you what, I'm here. I'm here to teach you a lesson about the true meaning of Xmas. Ain't I? Hmm. You see, dear boy, after all the shiny trifles of this here mortal coil, the true meaning of Christmas is... Family? Hey, what is it now? The, the true meaning of Christ Mass? It's family, right? That's what, that's what you were going to say? That the true meaning of Christmas is family, it's not presents, it's not gifts, it's not barely even Jesus at this point anymore, it's family. Thank you very much. I'm trying to do a review here. Uh, uh, oh, no, no, it ain't. Yes, it is. No? 
No, it's, it's not what, that's not what I was going to say. Yeah, it was. That's why you, you just stopped and stumbled all over yourself. No, no, he's not. What are you doing? Stop fighting with Archibald Crumpet. First off, I have never heard of Archibald Crumpet in my entire life. And secondly, the true meaning of Christ Mass is family. That is what he was going to say. Just admit it. It's not a big deal. I just, I already know it. I'm cool. No, I wasn't. It's called the true meaning of Christmas is rampant consumerism. What, what now? That's shit. The true meaning of Christmas is buying a bunch of shit and filling your dumb filthy goals with a bunch of ham and potato and shit. Or Hey, you do not have to be a dick about it, okay? I just got a lot to say about this game. I don't have I time I bet you for... feel pretty stupid right about now. The meaning of Christmas is family. That's you. That's what you sound like. Anyway, I got more important stuff for you. I'll see you next Christmas. Was Archibald Crumpet drunk? I'm so sorry you had to see that. It's okay. They should never meet your heroes. I have made close friends of disappointment. That's sad. On the surface, the game is incredibly mature, not in a violent tween catering blood and guts kind of way, but in one that cuts beneath the surface of the power fantasy to get at the driving motivations and feelings of our heroes. And wisely, Sony Santa Monica deviated from the exclusively plot-driven dialogue of most AAA games in favor of a far more personal script, driven by anecdotes, asides, and tall tales. It's a script that often tells us as much about why a character is doing what he is doing, as much as about what he is doing. And I do mean he, because somehow, in the entire f***ing pantheon of Norse gods and goddesses, and even Norse people and creatures of myth, 99.99999 repeating percent of the living things in this video game is dudes. The zombies are dudes. The ice people are dudes. The trolls are dudes. The pigs are dudes. The big turtle is a dude. I suppose there's no way of telling if the ogres are all dudes, but it's never made clear that they aren't. On the other end of the spectrum, all the witches are ladies. Then, when you meet the one major female character, she too is called the Witch of the Woods. Now, there is nothing inherently wrong with having a Witch of the Woods. It's actually a deep narrative vein that you could really dig into for some interesting mythology and lore. But when a Witch is the only character in the game who is a woman, then you have a problem. At least in my opinion. Alright, so this is me from the future. I forgot when I recorded the first video to bring up the Valkyries. Technically women, technically not dead, and not witches. Check, check, check. However, the mechanics of uncorrupting these Valkyries technically amounts to beating the sense back into a woman. Anyway, back to it. Hey, is the sound okay, Mr. Octopus? Oh yeah, no problem so far. The bucket's working great. Cool. I was just worried. Right. Well, good job, Bucket. That's not to say that Gao is a bad game. It's not. From a mechanical perspective, it is superb. Initially, it has the look of a shallow character action game. However, the deeper I went into Gao's world, the more depth I found waiting for me. Whether that's picking which runes to use, always Hell's Touch, or playing dress up with your own personal Kratos to get max cooldown until you find a shoulder pad that just looks way cooler than the useful one and you sacrifice your build in the name of fashion. Or maybe that's just me. Speaking of Kratos, I think it's his character arc that represents the best and worst of what Gao has to offer. I don't think I'm the only person who absolutely disdained Kratos with the passion of a thousand dying stars before I played this latest game. He was a hateful, selfish, sexist jerk with no redeeming value as a human being or god for that matter. As a father, he finds core motivation in something worth caring about. He loves his son but he has no idea how to express that love. His past life as a hateful monster is effectively used as backstory with which to gauge his transformation into a human being through the many conversations and arguments he has with his adorable son Atreus, most of which have little to do with the grand world of gods and devils and can mean as little as Atreus being curious about how his father feels or what things are around him. In fact, the largest of Gao's delights is watching Kratos' heart slowly melt as he and his son go on an epic boat trip of mourning. Atreus is the soul of Gao's story, acting as oi, both battle oi, companion oi. and catalyst for the hey, many... Hey. In Dog's Name is Happening Now.
That's right, it's me, I'm back. But bring you back at him again with it on the ones and dudes. Oh my goodness, Archibald Crumpet, I think you need to sober up. Oh yeah, oh 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 you know man, I'm not drunk. I'm just full of the Christmas spirit. Just, just stop. Have some self-respect. Oh yeah, oh she, I'm oh she crumpy. I don't fret about, you don't fret about me. I'm just perfunctory and useless apparently. Why bother thinking about little old me? Oi, oi, use this table? That's not cool, Jesus. Oi, I said, but I bet you like a lot to know about, about Jesus. He's the reason for the season, ain't he? Well, not according to you, it's not. Cause you just, you're so smart. But you like this. Bet you like this bucket. No bucket! Oh, I got the bucket. Who has the bucket now? It's me that's got the bucket. Oh, there goes the bucket. You've gone too far, Archibald Crumpet. You don't even know, because I can do so very much. Boom, we're in the North Pole now. You've had not seen what I've seen. You've not lived through these eyes. You've not seen the cruelty of men. You haven't seen the Great War. Or the other great war, or the one you've not experienced yet, because it's gonna happen in the future. What? You wait, right. I'll, I'll put a reindeer right up your butt. Okay, hey, 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 I did not mean any disrespect. I just, I really wanted to do this review, and you keep getting in the way of it with your weird, tawdry nonsense. Oh, I'm tawdry, am I? But is this so tawdry to you? <laughs> yes. Yes, it does. Oh, well. Who gonna get a reindeer up em? I don't want to do it to you, Mr. Octopus, but you've chosen your side. I really don't want a reindeer inside me. No one does, Mr. Octopus. No one does. Oh, uh, excuse me. I'm s- I'm, oh, is there rec- are you currently recording? I'm so sorry. I was late, I was stuck in traffic. Do you want me to grab the mic? Oh my god. 048, is that you? Oh, I've never heard that name before. It's definitely- Oh my biscuits, it's you, isn't it? Temporal regulation drone 297. Goodness, 048. Didn't you fall at the Battle of the Four Gates? Oh, it turns out Santa Claus needed some of you to come up and give- give treats to all the little British boys and guys. And you're right, and you're right, Santa Claus. That's not Santa Claus, that's a pile of grapes. Why- why is that there? Oh, so you've never wanted a mid-show grape? Aren't you afraid that the temple stewardship will come looking for you? I, I don't care about it all, May. They haven't come for me yet. I just put on the Santa hat here and they don't seem to recognize me. It's honestly, it makes them seem kind of stupid or something. Anyway, I'm glad to see you finally got out of there. It was, I'm, pr- I'm pretty sure they're evil. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're evil too. I finally killed that uh, evil computer creature. That's something. Right. I missed you too nice, have I? I always like a sister, me. I think we spoke twice. I know it's two times spent more than me than you could have in you. It looks like I'm the fool. It looks like the true meaning of Christmas has been family this whole time. Don't you look stupid now? I literally said that it was family like, n- you know what? Yes. Yes, I do. I do feel stupid. Anyway, it's nice catching up. I feel better about myself now that I got to prove that I'm not perfunctory. I don't know how that did that. And that's how Mecha Pig learned the true meaning of Christmas. And to stop being a d- And they all lived happily ever after. Ho ho ho! How are we gonna get home?